Wow, look at that. We crossed some railroad tracks. Here, look at this. Here. I was looking here, this way or here. Because they're going around the corner. Hmm. Look at the, Look at the rail, 2008. Yep. Pretty new rail. Yep. You think that's 141 pounds? Got concrete ties. No, you see how they they got a curve to them. Is that because it's? A, I guess it's because the um, going around the corner got concrete ties here that are. Ties that purposely have a bend to them. Now look at the wear the pock marks in the rail. That's Tupelo, Mississippi. Look at this. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that too much. Set a curved track. It says 141 R E V T EVRAZ USA 2008. It's over here by the cemetery, city cemetery in Tupelo. Got a 68 there on the casting of the. Look at the ties, you got a number. 4402, Four five nine three four five oh five it's order in num order it's got a decent bank to it. Look at the rail here. Not using that is all using here. Look at that. A lot of spalding. Look at this monkey business. It's got deep pits in it. It's like a fatigue failure in a bearing. Usually this is hardened steel. That's really got some spalding on it. Let's get the clips look like. I guess this is welded rail. This is the higher side. This is the lower side. So it wears a lot more here. This looks really screwed up. What that looks like is a fatigue failure on a race, a ball bearing.
This is the city cemetery, Tupelo. Swing around here quicker, there's the track. 